Oh, I drew our set. What I'm, a beautiful set. I'm like happy drew it. Ready, set, show! <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm sure you like Pokemon. We like Pokemon too. And you know what we like more than Pokemon is not being able to draw. Right. Well, okay. I did go to an art college. I do. <laughs> I have drawn a bit. You I've draw drawn engineering lot. designs. That's good. That's strong. That's Squares something. Squares and. Uh, what we're gonna do is draw some Pokemon now. There's one of two things that are gonna happen here. So we have a random Pokemon generator. We're either gonna know the Pokemon and then have to draw this Pokemon from memory, or we know nothing about the Pokemon other than its name, mm -hmm. and we have to try to guess what this Pokemon looks like and the closest person will get a yes. point. Yes, I played up till Sapphire. Do you want to start with one? Let's start with like, yeah, let's start with the, uh, you know, what we, what we the think. The Kanto region as it's called. Yeah, there we go, that's good. All and right. if you want to play at home, get out your piece of paper, get out your construction paper and crayons. We're not gonna give ourselves a lot of time to do this. We're talking like 30 seconds, 30 baby. Seconds. We're gonna yeah. speed art this, so okay? It's gonna be pretty quick. I'm not gonna oh. look at what you got going on. So I've generated a Pokemon from generation one, and we now have to draw it from memory. About 30 seconds we have. We got a little timer right here. Gotcha. The Pokemon in question is Abra. Kadabra. Abra. So just the first of that family. Ready? Get set. A go. All right. All right. Abra. So now he was like. Something like this here, and then he's like. Oh, God. It's like the thing is, I know Abra. I used to get Abras. The, the older ones had spoons. All right, that's, I, that's I added mine. Some, oh, dang, dude, I forgot about his big shoulders. All right, ready? So we're gonna show the camera. Hey. Three, two, one, there we go. Ah, uh, so There yeah, they are. I've totally forgot about his big football shoulders, but I did add, you know, because I because I knew I about this. I think he had big football he shoulders. He always teleported. Every time you yes. find one in the wild, he always escapes. He did. Oh. Trevor, let's look at Abra. He's got the shoulders, yeah. but, you know. You were closer. I gave him cross legs and, like, meditating hands. like. Like, do it to him hands. Yeah, yeah, the meta. I would kind of went for the cross hands too. For the next Pokemon we're gonna generate, we're gonna actually go all the way to the Alolan region. Okay, that I'm not That's as, the newest as familiar one. with. Uh, me neither. As far as I'm aware, it's just a Pokemon who threw on an Aloha Hawaiian shirt. I have no idea what this Pokemon is. Perfect. This Pokemon is called Carbink. C A R B I N K. Let's hit 30 seconds. Okay, so we'll three, two, one, a go. Carbink. Yeah, I have you know no what? idea. Oh, so. you know what? I never read that. Really drawing inspiration from my yeah. elementary school days, you know? Oh man, 30 oh, seconds is here. almost up, Trevor. Oh, oh yeah, it's, it's, and there it is. All right, ready? <laughs> so, three, two, one, show. As we, as we can see here, <laughs> I simply went. went with a cart with a bink on it. With a little bink like on someone, it. Like someone, like someone, like, N like hit it. They nudged it. Nudged it. They binked it. Like a shopping cart. Yeah, That's a good car though, Trevor. I spent a lot of time on uh, these three lines. Mine was also based off of a car, but also a turtle because Pokemon does that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was my only thing of like, I didn't just want to make a car. I don't know what bink could mean. What on earth is that? This is what it looks like. What? It's a floating glacier type thing with it's a, ears and it's a bunny ice type with It's some a stone. bunny ice. It's like a bunny icicle. What does that have to do with carbon? Carbon? Carbon. Yeah. Pokemon in question, we have 30 seconds, is Hitmonlee. Ready, oh, get set. Yeah. A go. Okay, All right, here so we go. Went, yeah. oh, oh, I think I know a bit or two Hold about Hitmonlee. Undo. He's like Gumby that wants to fight. Low on time here, got about 10 seconds left. Oh, I think I nailed this one. All right, I'm ready. I'm so ready. <laughs> oh, wait, I've done it. Okay, let's- I, <laughs> I know what you drew. Three, two, one, show. What was his name? You said Hitmonlee. Hitmonlee, you did Hypno. I did Hypno. That's Hypno. <laughs> I, I got too excited off the first two syllables. Look at him shaking the thing and putting the dude to sleep. I was really happy with the top half and I got the nose going and I didn't get the receding hair going yet, but yeah, he's got stories about uh, swindling little children into the forest. It's very creepy when, when you read Yeah, his, and his there's, there's my Hitmonlee. Let's put a, we can put a picture of him up. I, he does look like that. He's got the springs for legs. To be fair, if, if I had remembered, if I had heard it properly, uh, I would have probably mixed it up with Dude. Hitmon Chan, the punching one. We're now going to the Kalos region, which I have no idea what that is. Oh, thank God. Me neither. Well, okay, and the Pokemon in question is called Gorgeist. So G O U R G E I S T. So 30 seconds starts. Three, two, one, go. 
this is gonna look really bad, but uh, I think he's gonna look something like this. And he's like, Ehh. all right. Yo, uh, okay. See, I, I had an idea. Okay, so three, Here two, one, show. So what, so heist is the word you were going yeah, for? Yeah, I went with like gorging and heist out of that. Oh, uh, so like, and I, I really shouldn't have put the dollar sign here because I, it kind of conflates my messaging. You just uh, erased it. All right, there it is. It's yeah. basically a satchel of food. And he heists, and he steals, and he eats. Gorge and heist. That's a go. So the, you went with a gourd. Gourd and a poltergeist. Oh, like, like a haunter. G -E -I -S -T I see that. sounds like poltergeist to yes. me. Okay, so I'm pulling up Gorgeist now. <gasps> oh my, oh god. my god, dude. Look at it. That's Gorgeist. You're right. That's Oh my god! You're so close! I was so close! Look at it! I guess I guess the face is like <laughs> Look at the little feet! <laughs> the face is up in the up in the heat. Yeah, area. I guess that's like a fake face. Yeah. So if I just put like a little like a little like Look, there it is! Gorgeist! <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, so we're gonna go with another one we know. So this is from the Kanto region. Uh, I, you know what, man? You could slap me with some ones that I'm supposed to know. And apparently I'm not, you know, hypno instead of oh, hypno. Oh, wow. Okay, this is this is gonna be a tough one. From the first 151. Dragonite. Dragonite. Okay, so picture it. Dra okay, like, hold I, on. No, I, I can think of him, but when I try to picture details, that's the thing. Oh, man, dude. It's like, I know I'm picturing a dragon, but I'm like, what? But there's details to him. And there's only one of those I remember specifically. All right, three, two, one, draw. Oh, God, he's like... I'm just whipping it out. Oh, shoot, not that. Okay, I'm gonna start over. I remember him being, like, fatter than I wanted him to be. <laughs> yeah. All right. I <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember him being happy. That's so good. I remember him being happy. All right, three, two, one. This is, that, that's closer to what my memory is. Yeah. This is what happens when you're not an artist and yeah. you spit it out onto a page. It's like a bird with a lizard head. Hey, listen, I'm putting it together from you the are. depths of my brain The hole. only detail I remembered about Dragonite was these like, Wispy yeah. things. Yeah, well, your wispy things. I went with Shrek tentacles, apparently. It looks like Shrek. I, I, I forgot what how the extent of his ear things. I'm just lucky. There I he didn't... is. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, let's, oh, he's that. got bigger wings than I remember. He was. He's not as bloated as I, I made I, him. I, I, tried, I gave more of a Barney kind of mouth, too. I, it's definitely, it looks like Barney. It's definitely kind of what you had going on, where you don't see the mouth because it's from it's the top. It's very similar. We did really well. Yeah. All right, and the last one we're gonna well, go to- Well, the worst part is conjuring them up from your thought hole. I can't make that exist on paper. What is that gonna be? All right, 30 seconds. This is the one we don't know. It's called Sock. S-A-W-K. S, okay, S-A-W-K. Sock. Three, two, one, go. If this is a Pokemon, hey, how do I make they've this really run out of ideas. I guess we, we didn't really use colors, huh? No, no colors. All righty. <laughs> You got yourself a sock. Now here, let me walk you through what we're looking at here, Jeremy. As a, yeah. as a, there's multiple, there's layers like, to peel back. Walk me through it, walk me through it. So here we have the sock, you know, it's a tube yeah. sock. It'll sneak up on you and it has the strong reinforced heel and toe. Well, what you don't know is this sock is pissed. It, and, he, and he's gonna- I think I know him. He's got a boxing glove of an arm snuck in there and he's gonna sock you with it. He's, gonna, he's really gonna blast you, and he's angry, and his toe is actually his mouth. That's where the frown. I think you're actually in. very similar to a, a Pokemon that exists. I think there's a Pokemon called Mimikyu, which is like a sheet, oh, and it has a yeah. fist or something that comes out Basically of it. Basically, a trash bag in the woods. Yeah, with mine a... was a cross between a sock and a hawk. Oh so yeah, it's like a, a hawk with socks for wings. Hawk sock. <laughs> it's a, so that's sock. No idea what a sock actually looks like. What? what? It's like a blue. Like, it's just a blue man group, dude, that started a karate course. It's just a blue person in a gi. Yeah. What? I, that was not what I was expecting. Not I thought even at close. least it was going to be a bird. Yeah. All right, we're going to end on one we know, so back to Kanto. Man, okay, here, let me hit you with this while you look that up. Okay. I'm going to hit you with this. Okay. You know, I'm going to hit you early with the question of the week, audience. Uh -oh. No, I don't want you Googling anything. I got two Pikachu tails here. Yeah. Which one's right? One or two? Oh, that's interesting. That's which, interesting. Which Pikachu tail is correct? Oh my god, I think it's one. I think one is right, but I don't know, actually. You let me know in the comments while you, in, in, you know, and then we'll get back into this last Don't one. look it up, just let us know. Don't look it up. So the final one. Yeah. And you know what, I'm gonna give us a minute on this one. Oh wow. Last one. 
Hopefully your battery holds Hopefully it's not Geodude. No, it's not. It's Mewtwo. All right. All right. I mean, I know what he looks like, but man, I, what are these hands gonna do? Right, I know. These hands. It's, it's, that, it's the same thing of I know <laughs> what he looks like. All right, we got a minute to do this one. Three, two, okay. one, go. All right, so he's always got this business going on. I've done that wrong, oh, but you know what? We'll deal with that later. And Hold then, on, what is? what am I doing? What's happening over here? There's one thing I remember about Mewtwo, and that's that he's got hips that don't lie. And Three, the two, one, stop. Oh, oh dude, gonna I didn't, that. I'm gonna do the other yeah, side. That's fine, that's fine. I'm gonna get that thick tail in there. All right. Yeah, see, oh man, I forgot yeah, the breastplate. Yeah, but yours plate. is kinda, no, I, I mean, I really tried this to, is better than mine. Yeah, I really. I think it's. I think your head looks better than mine. I really tried to, def I spent so much time on the head, and then I realized, I mean, He's got that purple belly that I really focused on. And his legs start so thick. Yeah. And then get down so That's what I mean. He's got like so. He's got so big that's, thighs. That's what I was trying to get to here. And then I kind of squiggled in the tail. He's got a real like bubble butt, like big oh, thigh. You know what? I forgot his neck. And tube. he's got the neck tube. Forgot the he's neck tube. He's got the neck tube. Man. Uh, there he is. Not nearly as exaggerated as. He yeah, look, your head is like dead on. The shape of the ears and stuff. Yeah, I really. That's where I spent most of my efforts here. Was for the points here. Judges. That's yeah. Well, I mean, these are both our representations. Cat. Our minute-long representations of Mewtwo. Yeah. But I think you know we all know that uh, the most important Pokemon. There he is. And then and then. Beautiful. That's all it up. takes. That's all it takes. And then you know. You know and you know what? We're gonna do you a solid. Give you one of those. And then we'll give a little shine. Which, on him which too. side is he supposed to be shaved in on? Say, shaded in on it for you. His top. That's the best cartoon hand you've ever done, too. Howdy! It shows, Hi, you know, I'm I know that they have it recorded, oh, but. Oh, boy! <laughs> Hi there, fellas! <laughs> oh, don't get, yeah, everybody! Don't get too close! I might explode on you! I love it. I love it. All right, guys. Well, that was us drawing some Pokemon really quickly. Um, it is tough. Things like this, it's interesting because th there's things from your childhood or, you know, just other things you think you know so well. You're like, obviously, I remember this. Mm. I, I used to do this all the time. But when you actually stop and really try to think about them in detail, it's difficult. Yeah. It gets really hard. So, fun very, little thing to try tough. out. Already hit you with the question of the week, but is tail A or tail 2 accurate to Pikachu? They both just look so right and you don't know which one's it. Well, don't look it up. Just let us know. What that could be getting into is maybe a future episode that I'd oh, like to right. at some point. The Mandela that's Effect. That's what it's called. The Mandela Effect is when you think, you look at something, you're like, yeah, clearly that's the way this always was. Right. But it's not. You're just right. remembering it wrong. So, so if you have like uh, some Mandela Effect items that we should kind of look into, because there might be some things that we're not aware of, also let us know in the comments. I'd love to do some research. If you like this, let us know by hitting the like button. Um, it's the easiest way if you if you don't have time to to leave a comment or anything to just just let us know we're on the right track and that you enjoyed it. So, yep. Thank you. We always look at that. We always look at the comments. Get the conversations going. We'll see you next week. This episode of Ready Set Show was sponsored by Raycon earbuds. Now while you're drawing your Pokemon, maybe mm -hmm. you want to listen to some music while you're doing so, and a great way to do that is through some Raycon earbuds. Now uh, Raycon was co-founded by Ray J, and celebrities like Snoop Dogg are already obsessed with them, all right? They come in a variety of fun colors and patterns. They look awesome. Uh, what's great about them, and it separates them from other wireless earbuds and stuff like that, is you don't have any dangles. You don't have the dangling cable. You don't have the little stems hanging off your ears. They look good. They're discreet. I mean, they're great. The Raycon earbuds, they start at about half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds on the market. The Raycon E50s, uh, they're wireless earbuds that look stylish, feel comfortable, and they sound amazing. So click the link in the description below if you want to get 15% off your E50s, your Raycon headphones today. Yeah, pick them up. Yeah. Great for planes, great for working out. Yep, and you awesome. can't knock them out because they sit right in there. Perfect, situated, discreet. No one knows.